guys, it's Stu from Short Track RC. Gonna put a Valenium system into a two wheel drive Traxxas Slash. So, to start your build off, the tools you're gonna need is a 2.5 hex, a 2 hex, a 1.5 hex, and a 7 millimeter wrench. So, to start off, you need to take your rear tire off so you can remove the cover here. The cover there will be a 2 hex, millimeter hex. So you can just undo the screw there and the screw at the bottom. This you can pull off your slipper clutch cover, put it to the side. So then the next thing you want to do is take your 1.5 and take off your pinion gear. Slide that off, make sure you don't lose the little grub screw. Put that to the side. Then undo your motor screws. There'll be one at the top and one at the bottom. And as you can see, still running a Titan brush motor. You can actually pull these apart. Just like that, set it to the side. Now we can turn the car around and now we're going to work on the removing the ESC and taking your lead out of the receiver box. So, with you, I do believe 2.5, yeah. So, you can undo this. As you can see, it's now loose. Take your two millimeter hex, undo the screws on your receiver box. Just like that, leave the screws if you can, put it to the side. Same with a little cover plate for your leads, undo those. Lift that off. Put it to the side. So trace, now what you want to do is trace your cable to make sure you pull the right one out. Trace it through. It should be the one which is in slot number three. Feed your cable through, which sometimes can be a little bit of a pain because they don't give you very much room to get them through. There we go. We've received, uh, we've taken out the XL5 ESC now. Going to put that to the side with the motor. And now we're going to install the brushless system. So first thing you want to do, as I said, the cable's hard to get in, is to feed your cable through make sure you can get your cable through where you can still move your ESC around just like that and don't forget to go underneath so it goes back into the water the water resistant system just like that feed it through and then put it in to slot number three, like that. So now you can actually fix down your ESC, then line up your cables back on your receiver box. Make sure when you put this in you push down pretty hard because 
it's very difficult to line the screws up sometimes. Don't over tighten the first one because if you have to move it around to get the second one in, you won't be able to move it. So you just, that's it, beautiful. Then you can tighten the second one up, down tight, and then go back to the first one and tighten that up. Just like that. And then make sure you put your rubber gasket back on. And it sits in like that. Then get your receiver box. Make sure you get all your cables in. The gasket doesn't move. Same as what you did with the little cover. Tighten this side up a little bit so it's, a li it's lined up and then tighten this side up all the way down. And then tighten the other side all the way down. Okay, so that's the ESC in. Now let's go to the motor. So now we're going to install the motor into the back. So... To make life easy, we actually buy the Traxxas mesh uh, pieces and this actually helps you set, it, it only lets the mesh go to a certain place so it makes you be able to align it better. Um, this will be for another video but these are great. So we're going to put the engine in, the motor in, the wires in the back locate the screw which I think I have there don't over tighten it get your pinion which is now a 23 and um, it's now a 2386 so get your pinion put your pinion in line it up like that that should locate Pretty much with your screw hole there because of the gear mesh. Lined up like that. Tighten up your top. Like that. Don't forget to tighten up your little grub screw. Line up your gears. Tighten up your grub screw. Feed your cables through. Which, because I have these with a cable tie around, it's pretty tight to get through. Like that. And then just plug your, plug your blue into blue, yellow into yellow, and then white with white. The wires are now all connected. It's time to hook up the battery. Turn the ESC on. Yep, controller's on. Got movement. Sounds great, ready to run. If you like our video, subscribe, like and share and turn your notification on to Short Track RC and watch this video right now.